Hello everybody, my name is Craig and today I'm going to show you how to install the mods Optifine version 1.6.4 and Raise Minimap version 1.6.4 for Minecraft. This will not work on the new Minecraft. So first I'm going to open up my internet browser, go to Google CA, or you can use your search bar in the top right if you have Firefox or Internet Explorer. Then I'm going to type in Minecraft form raise minimap don't type in 1.6.4 now I'm gonna click this one the top link 1.6.2 July 8th raise minimap and now it doesn't have 1.6.4 on this page but it is on here so Ray FNSK released the raise minimaps but I don't know if you all know this it is the newest version is on this page so I'm gonna click the search bar in the top right and I'm gonna type in link and now it's gonna search the entire form for the word link now here's a link to the download 16.4 so I'm gonna click that and it's gonna bring me to AdFly I have ad blocks so I don't get ads now also you're gonna need MC patcher for this so in uh, download MC patcher the newest version is 4.22 as of October 30th yesterday was my birthday yay skip add there we go that is the newest version now put that on your desktop because it's gonna come in handy later and you want it within sight okay now that you have raised minimap let's go download MC patcher oops my mistake so you're gonna type in MC patcher bit bucket Okay, now click the top link. Make sure it's on bitbucket.org. Now here is a link of all the MC patchers. Okay, all the versions in jar form or EXE. So if you have Mac, this one will work for you. If you have Windows, this one will work for you. I prefer .exes, although jars sometimes are more handy because virus securities don't delete them as often. But I prefer .exes. So once you uh, download this, you're going to put it on your desktop like this so just drag it to the desktop okay and then it should appear on your desktop now that you have that all we need to do is get optifine so go back to google.ca or com and type in minecraft form optifine okay newest one minecraft form this is the one we want now scroll down for the links it should be the first one at the top. So here we go. Download up to find 1.64 HDU C6. So if you can't find it, you can press Control F on your keyboard and you can type in C6, or you could type in download, and it will bring you to the link. So select the first one, and now it's going to download. Oh, sorry, add fly. Continue. skip ad okay now click the download button keep okay now this is where things are going to get a bit complicated drag optifine newest version to the desktop and we're done using the browser now this is what you're going to do in order to make these work you're going to need to install them in the right order and we're going to start with optifine now jar files usually you need java to open them and it will run them in a command prompt through Java. But this is a special jar file. It contains the Optifine mod, and it'll automatically install it. All we have to do is double click it, and it will work on PCs and Macs. So here we go HD Ultra C6 for Minecraft 1.6.4 install. Make sure your Minecraft is closed, because if it is open, it can interfere. Okay, now that you're done doing that, open up MC Patcher. Okay, now it's going to load all the versions of Minecraft. So it should automatically load the newest one, 1.6.4 Optifine HD UC6. If you have C5 installed, it will probably find it also. Okay, so make sure 
the newest one selected, newest one's always better. And remember, the HDU stands for Ultra is always the best version of Optifine because it comes with more built in. Now, this is where you're going to name your profile so you know what your mods are named. So I'm going to call this Rays Mini Map and Optifine. Oh, actually, I'm going to name this 1.6.4. Okay, there. Now that once you've done that, click patch. Okay, now it's gonna now it's gonna name it. Make sure you click the patch button after you name a profile. If you do not, if you add a mod to this, then it will change it. Okay, so now that I've done that, I don't want all these. You can have them if you want. It shouldn't affect your Minecraft in any way. Although, keep in mind that Extended HD does need to be provided for certain texture packs to work. It is recommended to have this. I do not want it, though, because I only use certain texture packs. Now we're going to add our mods to Optifine. Now Optifine is installed. We're going to add Raise Minimap. Now Raise Minimap is a zip folder. So here's, the, here's my version. Now I'm going to show you where to put it so it's out of the way and it's easier to install later. So go to your start bar at the bottom left or press Windows Local R and type in app data, percent sign app data slash dot Minecraft slash mods. And if you don't have the mods folder, just go to the Minecraft folder, okay? Next, the window should open and this is what you're going to do. You're going to make a mods folder by clicking new folder or right clicking in a blank area on Windows Explorer which is what this window is called and you're gonna name it mods once you have named the mods folder make a folder in the mods folder named 1.6.4 so your mods are sorted and categorized and they don't get lost and this is where you're gonna put it now I put my Optifine mod in here also because it just stays in there and it's out of the way and I can reinstall them later I like categorizing my stuff so let's just put the new ones in here and raise mini map. You can keep them on your desktop if you want. I recommend and put them in the mods folder. But also remember to back these up because they can get deleted off the computer and you might not want to re-download them because they can be a hassle to find sometimes. Now that they're in your mods folder, you're going to click the plus button. Double check to make sure everything is unchecked and double check to make sure your profile name is right because you won't you don't want to get confused. And also double check to make sure you have the right version of Optifine selected. HUC6, newest version as of October 30th, 2013. Now click the plus button, which will let us add other mods. Now, I haven't tested MC Capes, I've been meaning to, but I only want to install Ray's Minimap right now, so click open. Now it's going to tell us everything that's going to be selected. Don't click any of these, just click OK. Now it's going to tell us what's going to be changed and added. Just ignore this and click OK. Now that that's done, click patch and it should patch Minecraft. There we go, 100%. And after you patch, test Minecraft. Make sure your Minecraft was closed during this entire process. Do not have your Minecraft open at all when you are patching or when you are installing mods. And now it's time to test. Let's see what happens. So if it works, when I go to single player and load a world, doesn't matter what world, doesn't matter what version it is. It's just test Schmelly. Okay, now at the top right, I should have raise mini map. Let it load. Give it a few seconds to load. There we go. See? Do not just close immediately if it doesn't appear. Give it a few seconds, maybe even a minute. And see if Optifine's working. Yep, left control works. Options, video settings. Yep, Optifine seems to be working perfectly. Now, after you're done that, open Minecraft Launcher so we can launch to see if you have successfully installed this correctly. Okay, so this is Minecraft Launcher. Okay, it's loading profile. Excellent, it has worked. 1.6.4 Raise Minimap and Optifine. This is an older version and I'm going to have to delete off it's not my way. But it has worked, and as you can see here, when it patches it, it automatically gives it a name. Oh. So there is the name of your mod. And that will tell you if you did it right. Raise Minimap and Optifine. That's what we named our profile. And to the left, you will notice that's what the profile is named. 
you have successfully installed Raze Minimap and Optifine for version 1.6.4 of Minecraft. Now, one last thing. When using Raze Minimap, I want to teach you at least three of the tools. After you choose your world, also note when you install mods this way with MC Patcher, they will not appear the mods button and it will not say modded down here because we have installed it through inserting the class files and jar files. This is the fastest and easiest way is using MC Patcher. There is a manual way, but it is more complicated. So once you have chosen your world, once your map appears at the top right, I want you to press M and go to key config. Now these might be different for you. Like they could be at whatever and they might have be in red. But I would put mine at default because default is the easiest and is very common. And you can easily change these later. Now that I've set these at default, I'm going to make zoom in my plus key. Oops. Uh, sorry. Um, equals key, I mean. And my zoom out is minus key. Uh, waypoints. Uh, don't need one of those. That's, that's good enough for now. Toggle zoom. Okay, so to toggle zoom on the raised mini map at the top right to zoom into the world, you press Z. Can keep pressing Z and it will automatically reset. Press X to make the map pop up and to see where you are going. Now, take note as you are walking, the world will render itself and constantly update. Such as if you were to play, place TNT everywhere and explode, the map will change. Next thing, press M once again and make sure your death points are enabled. If death points are enabled and you to were kill yourself or jump off a cliff, as like so. After you have died, you will see that you have a spawn point. As you can see, or sorry, pardon, a death point. And they will t show you where you died and where you lost all your stuff. So now you can go collect it. Doesn't matter how far you are, it will tell you. Now, one last thing. Waypoints, to delete them, press M, go to the waypoints button. And then click remove and select which ones you want to remove. You can also add new ones and select in manual coordinates by pressing delete and typing in the coordinates. So if someone gives you the coordinates of X, Y, and Z, you can type them in manually, and you can even color them different colors. And up here, if you click this, it will change it from the overworld to the nether, if you have visited the nether. I have not visited the nether yet, so these are disabled. But that is the defaults of Ray's minimap. And for the Optifine, if you use left control on the bottom left of the computer on the keyboard, you will zoom in slightly. This is very effective for Hunger Games and other mini games and modes in Minecraft. If you press Escape and go to Options, Video Settings, you will notice that the rendering has way more options. So you can now choose the render distance lower and set the performance at max frames per second as well as you can choose the animations other there's more other settings performance such as chunks preload dynamic details quality and other options will be greatly added and increased it is very effective for uh, to have optifine on computers that are old viewing one last thing I forgot to mention is that MC Patcher also has a convert texture pack function. It will, can convert texture packs of Minecraft 1.4 to 1.5, which are in the texture packs folder, and then it can convert Minecraft 1.5 texture packs to Minecraft 1.6, which are resource packs. For example, battered old stuff is for 1.5 and is not compatible in 1.6 because it needs to be a resource pack. But in the texture packs folder, if you put a battered old stuff and open it, it will convert it to version 1.6 of Minecraft. Now keep in mind, certain things will appear, but certain things will also be missing, such as stone blocks will not appear as they are supposed to be in battered old stuff since not every single file is in the correct location inside the texture pack. Thank you for watching. That is all.